Hi, we'll be continuing with the third chapter. We studied about layers of earth, surface of earth and how the volcanoes are formed. Today, we'll study about the earthquake. You have, might have seen in the TVs how the earthquakes forms and how they destruct the uh, houses and all. So, same picture is given in here. So, it is a Gujarat earthquake of 2001. So, the magma and the gases in the earth's interior move and push the land upward. So, one the volcanoes which is coming out but still one other phase, the magma and the gases are pushing inside the land and making the earth tremble or vibrate. This wallet trembling is known as earthquake. It occurs without any warning and causes a lot of destructions to life and property. An example for this is in Gujarat, as told in the picture. It took place in 2001. This earthquake claimed lives more than 20,000 people. So, due to this destruction, this destruction 20,000 people died and left over with 15 lakh injured. About 8 lakh houses are also destroyed in this disaster. So, one earthquake can cause so many destructions on the surface of the earth. The places where an earthquake begins below the earth's surface is called focus. So, if this is the earthquake happening, the below surface is called a focus. The point of earth's surface just above the focus is called epicenter. And this is a place where the earthquake will be the maximum. Seismology. Seismology is nothing but study of earthquake. Earthquakes are measured and recorded by the instru instrument called seismometer. So, everything will be measured. Same way earthquake is measured in seismometer. And the intensity is measured in Richter scale. So, it is measured in the form of Richter scale. So, same way it happens more in Himalayan region of northern India, Japan and Philippines. These are the more places which are affected. And these are the some precautions to be taken. Come out of the enclosed area and move to an one place. Shift to the center corner of the room. Away from the windows, fans or other things that fall may fall on you. Preferably use stairs, not lift. If traveling, come out of the vehicle immediately. Take care not to stand below the trees. So these are the precautions to be taken during the earthquake. Then coming to the tsunami. Tsunami is here T will be silent. It is pronounced tsunami. It is series of underwater waves created in an ocean. So it's a large waves created under the ocean or a water body by an earthquake. So if it forms on the earth, we see volcanoes happens. If the earthquake happened inside the ocean or a landslide occurs, so this forms the tsunami. Tsunami waves are different from other waves. Other waves will be very slow and nothing will happen. But tsunami waves will be very high. The coastal waves are made by wind and are quite small compared with tsunami, whereas these are huge and travel very quickly, causing huge destruction when they hit. So, these are the destruction pitches caused by tsunami. Then, coming to the floods. Floods usually occur due to heavy rainfall. As nowadays you are seeing in the TV, how heavy rainfall is forming and... Uh, how it covering the land and causing different destructions. So as a result, water bodies like rivers, lakes overflow and water spreads in the banks surrounding areas. So during this landslide which result in blocking of river channels and damage to a dam built across the river. These are the problems. Cyclones and tsunamis in coastal areas. Strong winds like tycoons and storms in this area. Melting of ice on the mountains. These are the causes for floods. And being a peninsular country which is surrounded by Arabian Sea, the Indian Ocean and the Bay of Bengal. It means country like India which is surrounded by three oceans. One is Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal. Floods are quite common in India. The plains of northern India suffer from flood frequently. So, nowadays... It's seen in TV, Mumbai, 
Assam are greatly affected. Floods causes a lot of damage and destruction to life of people, property and crops, majorly the crops. The after effects of flood are all destructive. Floods can spread dangerous diseases like cholera, malaria, dengue. So these are the major diseases after the floods occur. The only way to prevent flood is growing trees. This is the important point. We have to grow trees to avoid this floods. Deforestation is the main reason and the roots. If we grow trees more, the roots will absorb the water and it helps the water go inside the earth. Keep stocks of food. So during this floods, we have to follow these instructions. Keep stock of food and fresh water. Listen to radio for warnings. Keep first aid kit. Try to drink hot water. Keep torches, matchboxes and candles. If water enters inside your house, switch off the electronic devices to avoid shocks. Then drops, which is happening due to lack of rainfall. If it more rains, it comes to flood. If it is no rain or very less rain, it drops. Is a period of dry weather which happens during the lack of rainfall. All the water reservoirs like rivers, ponds, lake will dry up and then extreme storage of water for agriculture and domestic purpose. So it will happen uh, in the during the summer time. Famine, it means the bodies, the um, water bodies like fish, other uh, water bodies or uh, animals which are living in water that we call it as famine is a major consequences of drought. Farmers are also worst affected. And they are not able to grow the crops with little water. Then this leads to storage of food and it becomes a famine. Apart from humans, animals and plants. Sorry, humans and animals. Plants are also affected because of this famines. So number of ways which can be prevented as again growing more trees. Growing crops such as millets, sorghum, maize etc. Which require very less water. Constructing reservoirs, developing rainwater harvesting system. And coming to the last one is cyclones. So cyclone is nothing but a high speed wind. Normally we see the wind with very slow which we feel very good in our in daily life. Whereas the high speed wind is called cyclone which moves in a circle and they are accompanied by heavy showers. Cyclones can be very distress and can cause heavy damage to life and properties. The most affected areas are coastal region. In India, the eastern coast is more affected than the western coast. The state of Odisha. Have you heard about the state Odisha? Which is suffered the most due to cyclones. The very powerful cyclone which hit Odisha is on 19, 29th October 1999. Resulted in death of thousands of people. So during this period, Heavy cyclone hit the state Odisha which formed caused thousands of death. The lot more become homeless. So these are the precautionary measures to take during cyclone. Listen to the radio and television warning. Move to the strongest part of your home when a cyclone hits. Stay away from windows. Store food in a waterproof bags. Keep first aid kit. Don't go out of the house until the cyclone stops. So these are the things we studied about volcanoes, earthquake, flood, drops and uh, cyclones. So thank you for the day and keep reading the textbook.